Hi, Green Panda here, and since I was bored, I decided to test three free programs against each other to see which is the better one. So our top three contenders are Fire Alpaca, Krita, and Medibang. I don't know if I'm seeing Krita right, Krita, I don't know. And I did this in the past before, and it didn't work out so well. I wanted to do Pientel Sai versus Clip Studio and versus Photoshop. I lost the footage, so there is no video of that. But if we, I kind of did want to do a comparison like last time, I thought, here, maybe I could do me findings from that previous video that does not exist and just put them in here so that way, like, you can see the result at the end of the video. So, we are going to be testing Fire Alpaca against Krita against Maybang, and once this video uploads, I can then uninstall these of my laptop and see if that frees up any of my space. Because my laptop is a pile of shit that explodes at the most insignificant thing, okay? It is terrible. So here's the rules. Um, it must be beginner friendly that any person can use it without any struggle. And um, regardless of how long they have been, like, using digital programs in the past, like how easy is it for beginners or even professional digital artists can use. So if, we, if it has any struggles, any issues, anything that isn't easy and is a complete clot on, then there's just no point and it loses marks. In short, I am a dumbass and if I struggle with this, others will and if I find this easy, then no one else will struggle. If I can use it, anyone else can use it. Second rule, accessibility. Is the program itself easy? Is it easy to download on any type of laptop, iPad, etc.? Um, do I have to physically fight to use the tools, etc.? If I'm in the zone, I don't want my progress slowed down by finicky buttons, etc. And last rule, animation. I haven't done much research, but for, ugh, I haven't done much research, but Fire Alpaca and Krita have animation, so let's test them out. Like while I'm here, or oh, in perspective grids. Like, do they have any? So with those rules in place, let's start. Fire Alpaca is compatible with Mac and Windows to start off with. Uh, when I opened up the program, it opened up with an advertisement. Joy. But it's not that long, but you do have to click out of it. Yeesh. You can't just toggle transform to move a selected area. You have to slide to the toolbar at the top, select and hit transform. It reduces time and it's so time consuming. And also I have to transform merge layer and flip the layer by going to the top panel and selecting. I keep confusing layer horizontal with canvas horizontal. So you know when you want to flip the canvas to a mirror it to see like how it like looks like regardless and but with this one if I want to flip it I end up flipping the canvas itself to the point where I'd stay stuck on it unlike having it been temporary so I can keep toggling the flip so I'll be able to see my art the way it is. What's great about Fire Alpaca is that it is beginner friendly and if it's your first time using a tablet or an art program Fire Alpaca is a good way to introduce you to how a program should be used, how your tablet like uh, brush stabilizer works and everything. You can make your own custom brushes, but you can't implement Photoshop brushes, which is a shame. But other than that, like as a beginner program into digital art where you don't wanna, you, like you don't wanna spend any money and you don't even know if this is like for you. So instead of spend money, you use this as a free program. It basically tells you what you need to know and if you actually want to improve and like spend money on something that you think you'll be invested in. Uh, you can't use the watercolor brush the same as the paint or side brush so it'll take a while to relearn this brush to my standards. I can't replicate my art in this program the same as Paint or Sai, hence why I don't use it. I use Fire Alpaca for the perspective grids, but now that Paint or Sai version 2 has them, there is no point to this program except for the animation. The animation in Fire Alpaca is pretty decent, but there's no scrub or playback or individual layer keyframes. You can't figure out your mistake until it's glaringly obvious and you can't save as a GIF or a video. You have to save each individual layer and you have to go back if it's a simple animation, it's great for small cute stuff like blinking or Ghibli stuff or like very small. Yeah, but big animation videos, don't bother. They don't work as well. Other than that, Fire Packer is a good start up program, but if you're used to like other programs for a while and you already know your way around digital art, then there is this program's not for uh, standard or intermediate or even professional artists. It's just not that great. Sure it has perspective grids but they are very stiff and they're not easy to use or manipulate. It's just pretty much standard. So beginner friendly, yes, but other than that I wouldn't really recommend this to someone who's been using digital art for a while. Okay, so let's take a look at Krita. It also has loads of advertisements and they take a while. Physically fighting the layers, the struggle to draw, not as fluid as any of the programs. Ugh. But if I wanted to practice and try to improve, then I'll be just as good with this as I am with Pintle Sai. It's only good if you put in the effort, but if I had no choice, I do believe Creator is decent enough as a program to get what you need to be done. 
But the thing is, is that if I had to choose between Pientel Sai or Krita, I would choose Pientel Sai, even if Krita does have like a ton of like programs. It's just physically furying, okay? It's very hard, it's not beginner friendly. I, I struggled with it a lot and I've actually used a ton of programs before I used this one. I've actually used Photoshop, I used Club Studio, I've used Pientel Sai, I've used Firepacker. Uh, paint.net, MS Paint. I am a master of MS Paint, but still, that has nothing to do with this. But either way, Creator was such a clot on. It was so hard and difficult to use, and I literally had so much rage. The thing is, Blender was kind of easier to use than Creator in the painting aspect of it. But if I had no other choice, if I didn't have anything else, and I actually took the time and patience to use Creator, I would change my tune pretty quickly because I realized that other than that it's just muscle memory of like what you need to do to like get stuck into an art piece and the thing is I feel like I have to relearn a top like a couple of things just to use it but other than that though I don't think Creator is a bad program it's just um if I had time and I put it in I would change my mind and see it was a good one so I don't hate it necessarily I'm just seeing if I had a choice I myself wouldn't use it, but I can see why people out there would use this program because it's not that bad. Um, I only have issues because it feels very rigid and confusing. Other programs are beginner friendly, this one not so much. I do struggle with new programs like Blender and because I struggle so much, that's the reason why I kind of avoid things that are difficult because again, I'm not doing this professionally, it's a hobby. And if I was like picking something that was easy, I would rather go for something quick and easy and something that could get the same result rather than fight something, get frustrated and get really annoyed for a program that I'm not really in love with, so there's no point. Um, at some point I was seeing her creator, should be nicknamed Cretin, it was getting on my nerves, but uh, just because I found it a bit difficult, it doesn't mean it's bad. It means if you put the work in, it'll be great. It also comes with my opinion that if anyone wants to be a professional artist, they should familiar familiarise themselves with as many programs as they can. Either A, find the best fit, but B, if you're working for a company, that being as adaptable with a program would be beneficial. I mean, they create new programs every day. I mean, did you see the hair physics for like Tangled and Frozen that had to create new programs just to use it? So at the end of the day, it's like, I don't think people want you to be rigged or structured with just one program because that won't be great but if you're adaptable and you can use anything to sit you down in front of because like you know how a program is supposed to be used then that's great um but it's not mandatory and we'll probably waste time but so far more people are learning more towards but the thing is yeah so far more people are leaning towards like clip studio paint than photoshop but yeah um, but Creator has perspective grids and animation, like holy shit, no wonder so many people are using Creator animation. Look, I tried Blender and I struggled, I barely made a good 2D animation with it and I can barely call it an animation. Other than that, Blender took me three days to understand the basics on animation and to make an animation itself. Learning Creator took me 10 minutes. Although making full animation may be different, but there is one thing Creator has that Blender doesn't colouring in the animation and clipping groups for shading and tons of brushes to have different colouring styles. Yeah, I may dislike Creator, but I gotta admit the animation itself is actually its only redeeming feature and it also has perspective grids. So I can see why people use it, I see why people like it and again if I took the time to learn how to use the paint, uh, painting aspect of it to um, to get the same result as I do in Paint or Sai, like if I can still paint the same way in this program as paint till sigh and I start enjoying the program. Animation Perspective Grids, the Creator is actually a really great program, especially for being free. So even though my personal opinion, I don't love it, I think it's actually a really good program, especially for people who's getting into it and um, people who are looking for something free. I think Creator is a great way to introduce you to animation. My only peeve though, and the animation part is that if you try to like animate to sound, it keeps taking you back to the beginning or the keyframe you got selected on. Like it doesn't stop at the bit where you need to stop it on to like to animate two sounds or to make perfect lip syncing. And that's the only issue. So because of that, my head is like, oh, I'm going to keep Blender on my laptop now because of this. Because at least Blender stopped where you wanted to animate something, even though it's a pain in my ass. So either way, Creator and Blender aren't perfect animation tools. But as I said, since I want to do animation, the only things I need is something with layers, something that I can like paint on and draw on and play back so I can watch me animation over and over again and fix mistakes as they're happening rather than do a full animation 
and then fix back over them like far alpaca so either way uh, I could learn to love Krita, that's what I'm saying. It's getting to the point where I'm not in love with it yet, but give me a chance and I'll probably sing its praises. Now on to Medibang. It is compatible with Windows, Mac, OS X, Android and iOS like... And the thing is, is that there's like a ton of things that's great, it's so great. It's like if you've got a tablet and you're trying to do drawing, you can use Medibang for pretty much anything. Um, but my opinion of it when I first started it, it was like drawn on ice. It slides all over the place and it's like a mini fire alpaca. Like every single thing about fire alpaca is just like Medibang, but Medibang improved it. So it's like a better version of fire alpaca. It's pretty much the same and it loses. And yeah, I think it's disqualified at this moment in time and it's lost every single good thing I have to say about it because it does not have animation. I did not know this until I opened it up and I was like, oh yeah, I need to see if it has animation. Google, does Medibang have animation? It was like, no, it does not. <laughs> so yeah, it's disqualified, but I'm still going to talk about it and like pit it against it because it's free. And it's a free program, you don't have to pay for it and if people want to get into like beginner art, great. But Again, my opinion, I think Creator has already won this contest, but I'm still going to talk about it. Um, like, the thing is, I do have so many things to say about it. Like, if you want to colour in a circle, you have to close all the gaps. If there's any gap that's not filled, the bucket, like the fill bucket will just spill out and it'll just ruin the whole thing. It also has a pop-up box, but instead of an advertisement with settings, even though it seems like it's given you a lot, it's just tutorials on how to use it and a manga template, etc. It sadly does not have an animation feature, so it loses points. But other than that, drawing process is heavily like a knife through butter. There was no fights, no issues, just peace. Some parts didn't go the way I wanted but I knew that this was a fire packet 2.0 with perspective grids and you can customize your own brushes painting wise Maybang is actually pretty good and a good alternative and it's free so yeah so I'm just gonna see like if these programs were like Pokemon this will be a good start of Pokemon for your digital program journey Um. So if you want to evolve up and level up to P until Psy or Photoshop or Clip Studio etc I do have to think Creator and Medibang are the best options so if it's between Creator and Alpaca, I would have to say Creator is the winner here. It's a paint program with an animation add-on that actually uses layers and you don't have to wait until after to know you made a mistake. But it's not beginner friendly, hence the runner-up, Medibang. So Fire Alpaca and Creator Medibang are free, so the best one to use for beginners is Medibang. You can just dive in with no problems and create it for animation. Since Fire Alpaca art wasn't as good, there was no point and it has tragically lost. I only did this video so I can finally uninstall these programs and get some space on my goddamn computer. So the winner is Creator, runner up is Medibang, and last but not least is Fire Alpaca. But again, my personal opinion is that it doesn't really matter what you download as long as it's free and it makes you have a hands-on experience of what programs are supposed to be like. And the more you experiment, the more you realize what is a good program for you and anything else. But if you're starting up and you haven't got a clue and you don't have the time to like go through all these options, I'll just say go with Creator and Medibang. Medibang's more easy to use. That is a good like version for beginners, but for animation, Creator will be great. And so if you use these two, you'll be fine. So that's my final result. And I hope you guys like this video. Oh yeah, I did do a Pintel Sai version versus Photoshop versus Clip Studio. But as I said in the beginning, I lost the footage and I can't re-download any trials unless I want to pay for them. But these were my results from that time. Clip Studio Art was the winner. And I actually wish I had more time to like experiment with it. But overall, it was able to get me head stuck in. It did great. I think it has animation and it has manga, tools and comic layouts and everything. So... Clip Studio was actually really good. Not only that, is the fact that once you buy it, you've bought it and that's it. It has regular updates and you don't have to keep like paying for a subscription. Once you have it, you're done. You got it. And that's pretty amazing. Uh, Paint till side too. Uh, not many people actually buy this. This might as well be a free program because people actually illegally download it and pirate it. I didn't see anything. <laughs> so if you guys want to get Paint till Psy for free, you might as well just turn it and just get the whole thing for free. And Paint till Psy is actually a really good program to use. So yeah, the only thing is that the only downside is that 
Pentelsai has Pentelsai 2, which is the version 2 and everything. The only additional features they added to this version was perspective grids. But take that away, it hasn't really been that great of an upgrade and it's kind of sad, especially since Clip Studio and Photoshop also have animation and they've gotten further ahead than Pentelsai. I just use Pentelsai because I'm biased and I am aware of that. It's very easy to use. I just hear Photoshop and I hear Adobe enough said and people online do kind of pirate like photoshop as well so yeah so <laughs> it doesn't really matter what you use as long as like i think it's more like which program you get first and how many tutorials you get first and see it because once you get a program and you get used to it then yeah so if you're a beginner person go with photoshop because majority of people online use photoshop and the quicker you, you learn photoshop the better it is I made the misfortune of getting Pentelsai instead, so I know everything about Pentelsai, I cannot use Photoshop to save my life. So for me, personally, Photoshop is third place, because I hate it, okay, it is a pile of shit. Uh, but yeah, regardless, as long as you make good art, I doubt companies care what you make as long as it's what you made and it's part of your portfolio. Well, that's all I have to say, I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you next one. Bye!